Hey guys, Andy here from WeymouthFitnessCamp.co.uk. Um, so, a lot of people struggle with breakfast in the morning. Uh, they seem to think uh, if it ain't cereal and milk, then there's no, or, or, or just toast and jam, then they ain't gonna have breakfast. There's nothing they can eat. Okay, um, and that's obviously a massive part of arse. Um, there's, there's, there's a part of different things you can eat from sort of stir fried veggies to what I'm about to show you in a minute um, to pretty much anything that ain't a part of crap to be honest. Um, a lot of people are quite fussy in the mornings and, and sort of in general but from a personal perspective I've I got no problem with eating things like potatoes and, and meat in the morning or something like that. Um, stir fried vegetables and you know eggs or something like that is always always a good one um, but for the people that really sort of like the like, like something a little bit warmer um, or you know maybe the the, the porridge is out there and the the people who like that do like their cereals and, and, and milks and stuff like that then obviously we don't want to be eating dairy or cereals um, so basically one of the, one of one of my favorite things to have in the morning is like a quinoa pudding which i think a couple of the recipes are on 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 the on the member site anyway um, so you can check those out, but I thought I'd just show you um, just, just what I'm talking about here. Okay, so my weapons of choice usually comes at one of three in terms of the actual um, the, the milk I'm going to use for it, but I ain't got one of them with me today. So this is my new favourite, okay? It's some sort of, uh, it's, it's pretty much coconut milk and water, okay? So that, that, that's the stuff. You can get that in like Waitrose, I think Tesco's might have it. Holland and Barrett I got that from, a little bit more expensive in there, but real good stuff, real good stuff. Good thing with this one, when you compare it to the rice meal, which I'll talk about in a minute, is this one's got some, you know, some, some pretty good fats in there, some decent saturated fats from the coconut, um, and, and, and barely any carbohydrate. I mean, if we're looking at that, there's like, yeah, again, barely any carbohydrate in there whatsoever, which, which is what we want from, from this sort of, uh, this sort of um, product. Okay, rice milk on the other hand, this is another good one. The, this, oh, can't see me. The, this is the stuff that I'll probably stick to having like either straight before or straight after training, you know, within that sort of half an hour or so after, or maybe an hour before training. For the simple fact, this is slightly more carbohydrate dense, there's a bit more carbs in there, it's a little, a little bit sweeter as well. Um, both of them pretty good. The the other one as well, the, the overall winner's almond milk really, a lot of the time that's pretty tasty. Um, the organic unsweetened one is the one you want to go for. It's quite expensive, it's like about £3.50 for, for like um, a, a litre tub like that, so yeah, it's quite expensive but real good stuff. This is my favourite at the minute though, as I said. All right. Um, so basically yeah, for your quinoa pudding, I don't know if you've had quinoa before or what, but um, this is the box of stuff I got it in today. Is that an yeah, it's an organic one uh, that I picked up the other day. Uh, it looks like that. Okay, so it's, it's basically a seed. It comes from like uh, North America, I think, or South America, one or two. Bolivia. Okay, yeah, so it comes from this. This one in particular comes from Bolivia. It's a really, really good substitute for like um, in, instead of like rice or pasta or you know porridge and stuff in the mornings as well. Really good food. Um, it's actually. A complete protein as well, which is a real winner uh, because you, you don't necessarily have to sort of um, stick any other protein with it. For it. your body, basically, doesn't really have to do a great deal to it to be able to use the protein in it. It's, it's sort of like in a nutshell what it is. So uh, I'll, I'll show you how to make it. It's, it's piece of pierce, really. Um, so I think I'll show you real quick. I'm really not too asked with like measuring things out and stuff. Uh, I don't really have time for it. And I'm not really too bothered with it. I usually just pour in whatever, and if I need to top it up, I top it up. So, all you need, saucepan, quinoa, I'll even show you, watch, pour it in, magic, alright, I'll probably put a bit more in there as well because I'm pretty hungry, so we dump a fair amount of that in there, then all you're going to do, I think I'll use the coconut one today, brand spanking, tasty, alright, you want to put, I think, pretty much about however much quinoa you got in there. You want to have about probably three times as much liquid in there, um, and I do usually find that that's just about the winner. So you just bang that in there, magic. As I said, I'm not really very precise. Crack it on. What you want to do is just let that let that boil up, um, and then just leave it to simmer for like the, I think it'd take about sort of fifteen twenty minutes or something like that. Um, now I'm not going to stand around chatting crap here for fifteen to twenty minutes, so I'll come back and show you in a minute. All right. <laughs> 
All right, so rule number one is to make sure that you, you do keep half an eye on it because by the looks of things, <laughs> I just had an absolute mare. So look at that. We over, over, overkilled the heat quite a bit. So now we're just dropping down to a simmer. I thought I'd show you that. I was actually editing a different video for you. Um, so maybe I should uh, keep my eye on the prize. All right, I'll be back in five. All right, I just had a look and it's, it's looking pretty good now. I think it's just about done. So let's go have a look. Magic, look at that. Now, one of the things I'd chuck in there sometimes, because you know, it can be like, like anything, it can be a little bit bland, is some sunflower seeds or something like that. So, I'll just pop you down for a sec. Something like that. All right, I say it's, I'm pretty technical when it comes to cooking, so that's that. I'll bang that in there. Um, so like first thing in the morning, I'll probably chuck in like a banana or something as well, just chop it up or mash it up and whip it round. Um, but that, my friends, is a dead easy breakfast or, you know, snack for some time throughout the day. You can, you know, let that cool, chuck it in a box, take it with you to work and you can nail that for lunch or something like that as well. Um, as I said, it's bang on, so get stuck into it. No excuses. That's some good eating right there. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.